Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to get around all of Hyrule by using glitches. These glitches will make it a lot easier to traverse Hyrule, as they all save stamina. In this video I will be teaching the whistle sprinting glitch, the infinite climb walls glitch, and the no fall damage glitch. First, to start off, I will tell you how to do the no fall damage glitch. What you want to do is to pull out a weapon and put it in throw mode, but don't actually throw the weapon. Then, jump off the high place and as you are about to hit the ground, quickly release the R button and switch your weapon to another one, or to no weapon, like so. Next, I know it is very annoying when you run out of stamina when sprinting, so I will be teaching you the whistle sprinting glitch. What the whistle sprinting glitch does is allow you to sprint without using stamina. What you want to do is push your left analog stick forward while pressing the down button on the d-pad while clicking the B button really fast. I know it sounds hard, but you will eventually get the hang of it. For this glitch, I also suggest not having a horse nearby or not equipping your horse with the ancient saddle so they don't come running if you accidentally mess the glitch up. Lastly, I also know how it is annoying to run out of stamina mid-climb, so I will show you how to do the no stamina climb glitch. To note, this glitch doesn't work with flat walls and needs to be at an angle. Anyways, the trick is simple, as all you do is do the whistle sprinting glitch while on a wall, like so. This trick doesn't necessarily allow you to climb without using stamina, but it saves a lot and will most likely allow you to climb the cliff you need to. Thanks for watching! Bye!